gonna be round my vegetables. I'm gonna chop down my vegetables. I love you most of all, my favorite vegetable. Today we're going to be serving chanterelles. What an incredible delicacy these mushrooms are. They're beautiful apricot color, somewhat of a vague apricot taste to them, woodsy. So the way you prepare chanterelles is very simple. You cut off the bottom and then you use the handy dandy mushroom brush to brush off the dirt because they do grow out in the woods and they could have all sorts of stuff on them and they do in the form of all these little black specks. So like so much of good food preparation, you take your time and you cut off the bottom of each one of these beautiful little chanterelles and then you use your mushroom brush to brush off all the impurities and the pine needles and whatever else is there until you get a nice clean mushroom and let's finish the rest of these off uh, now. All right, the last chanterelle cleaned. Now the next step is to chop them up and get them ready for the frying pan. So I'll just chop them like this. Okay, the one thing that chanterelles love more than anything is butter. So we'll put a nice big glob of butter in here. And in fact, I think we'll even put some more. You really can't have too much butter for chanterelles. Another thing they really like is olive oil. So let's give them a little bit of olive oil too. And they'll sop it up and it will make them taste delicious. So we'll go ahead and let the uh, butter and the olive oil dry or melt here into a nice yummy bunch of stuff and then we will dump the chanterelles, the nicely chopped and cleaned chanterelles into the large frying pan. You want a large frying pan because you don't want them to give off steam. They contain a lot of moisture and if you let them give off steam they don't cook as nice and brown and dry and yummy and get a nice texture as if you keep them in a large pan and keep them on high heat and we'll just go ahead and saute these here for oh maybe five six minutes and then we'll do the next step okay we've been sauteing now for about five minutes you can see the color is changing to a browner shade so now we're going to add some flavor. There's some diced garlic. And here's some chopped parsley. That's always really good. You can see how the mushrooms are really soaking up all the butter and olive oil. Here we'll put in some nice coarse salt. And then also in the other direction we can get some nice fresh ground pepper. Add a little bit of a zing to the old mushrooms here. Now chanterelles are especially good in many ways. You can pour them over toast. You can use them with polenta. You can use them with uh, just about any kind of uh, vegetables. You can pour them over any kind of meat. One thing they also like for flavor is they really like cream. So we'll put a little bit of cream in there just to give them a nice creamy flavor and then we'll go ahead and saute them for about another minute or so and let them just cook right up really nice prepare to have your brains fall out we have my poor old earth flag like our mother earth has seen better days has been abused, is kind of tattered and torn, and this probably is the best reason why we need to malama Mother Earth. Mother, and we 